This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Okay guys, well we're in uh, Maya 2016 instead of my usual 2017. Uh, two reasons. One, I've been asked to do this in 2016 and two, uh, Maya 2017 is quite flaky at the moment with all the updates and so forth, right? So 2016, what we're going to do is we're going to simulate the situation that you can do in, let's say, ZBrush or Mudbox or 3D Coat, where you take a model and you bump up the subdivision level to a level that is convenient for whatever you're going to do with it. OK, so we're going to take a uh, polygon cube. I'm going to open up my attribute editor, hit Control A to do so. And we're going to go in and I'm going to set the dimensions to, let's say, 10 by 10 by 10. All right. Now, if I were to select my cube and hit three on my keyboard, I would get a preview smooth. So this is not an actual smooth, it's a preview smooth. And you can see this by the corners on our model. It's softer. So I hit one to get that square look and three for preview smooth. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert this preview to actual subdivision, but in a way that we can control the amount, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to uh, Modify. We're going to go to Convert. And what we're going to look for is Smooth Mesh Preview to Polygons. OK. Now, when we click on that, you see a huge amount of uh, subdivision added. OK, once that is done, we're going to go up to uh, Mesh. We're going to go down to Reduce, hit the Option box. And here, we're going to leave this at a percentage of 50%. And we're just going to click on Reduce. Now, once we do that, you see that the number of uh, subdivision has been reduced, obviously. But also here you have the option in this little uh, window here to go in and choose the reduction method. So you can uh, choose percentage. You can use, uh, you know, triangles and so forth. We can leave it a percentage. And if I want to reduce, let's say, by 75%, I can just type that in. And there you go. Okay. So that will give you a lot more control of your model. And the cool thing is, if I select this guy and hit one, it is now actually smooth instead of preview smooth, all right? So that's all there's to it. Um, depending on the Maya version that you're using, the menus can be in different places uh, because things have moved around in 2017. For now, it's in uh, edit and under mesh, but it can also be under modified. Uh, sorry, it's now it's under modify, but in 2017, it's probably under edit, okay? So that's all there's to it, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know and see you guys again. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.